Hello and welcome to yet another video in the uh, data management using SPSS series from Unique Mat Media Learning and um, I am Alexander Ntembenuzemi. All right, today in this video I would like to talk about how you can disaggregate output of data, uh, some data analysis in SPSS based on some variable of interest. So say you'd like for each and every analysis that you do, you want it to be disaggregated. Okay, you want it to be grouped in uh, based on some uh, grouping variable that you may select. Okay, this could be, for example, if you want the output to be based on gender. Every output you do, uh, for example, frequencies, summary tables, graphs, every output you want it to come out. Uh, disaggregated based on some uh, categorical variable uh, which you it is in, of interest to you that's what you're going to do today okay so uh, I'll still be using the alphabarometer round 5 data okay and this is the questionnaire it's the Malawi questionnaire which I just got from the Afro, Afrobarometer website all right so basically all I want to do is to analyze this variable here this variable says in this country how free are you to say what you think this is 17 a and the re respondents were uh, given these options not at all free not very free and okay anyway all I want to do is just get some frequencies but uh, I want to have these frequencies uh, turned out based on country okay first of all before I go to that let me show you if I if I do frequencies right now before I turn on that feature how is the analysis going to look like so this is the probability data I go to analyze descriptive statistics then frequencies here all I will do is I will just scroll down look for variable question 17a looks like here I found it 17a which says freedom to say what you think I will transfer it to the variables box all I want is just to display the frequency table, so I'll click OK. Once I have it, if you uh, you can see, I have only one table. This is the analysis. This is a summary for all the countries in this uh, in this data. So you can see here. All right. So you have uh, missing, uh, not at all free, uh, and you have these percentages and valid percentages and so on. So. This is not what I want. I want these tables to come out based, uh, to be grouped based on uh, countries. So I want each and every analysis that I do, whether it's graphs, whether anything that I, I, I want to have, I want to have it based on the country. So, okay, to do that, I'll go, I'll go back to the data. I'll go to data, and then the procedure is split file. Here, this is split file procedure dialog box, which appears. I only have three options. The first option is to analyze all cases, do not create groups. This is what has happened, okay? When I was doing the analysis, this is what happened. It just analyzed all cases and it did not create any groups. This is the default, so that when you want to turn off the feature, we come here. All right? And there are other, these two options, compare groups and organize output by groups. The differences within these is very subtle, okay? Compare groups in terms of output and tables will simply will give you a table with uh, just a line that draws uh, differentiated output between each country uh, in this case. While organized output by groups, the table, uh, we are going to have different tables uh, for each group. It's just uh, formatting of the output itself. I'm just going to say compare groups. Now I need to select which variable, uh, which uh, uh, grouping variable I, I want to use. So I'll just use country uh, in alphabetical order. Then I'll select it and drag, drop it in groups based on. This is all I need to do. Then I'll just click OK. All right. Right now on the output, just showing me that uh, cases have been sorted by country alpha and then there's a split file layered by country alpha. Okay, I'll go back to the data. I want to show you something. If you look here, if you look down here, you see that there is uh, an indication that we, there is a split command, split by country alpha. You need to know this. 
uh, you need to see this maybe sometimes you might actually forget you have turned on a split file command now if I go to analyze descriptive statistics then frequencies this time I also go to charts and turn on uh, uh, a bar chart okay uh, with frequencies then I'll click continue if I click OK this time along and I wait for the output you see that the output is coming out and it's going to be layered uh, layered based on country so there you have it Algeria Benin Botswana, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Cameroon, Cape Verde, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, and so on. Now, if you go down here, you see that I'm also going to have different bar charts. So here, this is for Algeria. Here, this is for Benin. Uh, this is for Botswana. You can see there that if you go to, for example, Cameroon, the graph changes a lot. Even if you go to Burundi, the graph changes a lot. If you go to uh, Burkina Faso, so the graph changes a lot than if you go for Botswana, for example, where more people think they're actually very free to say whatever they think and so on. So basically, that's how you uh, disaggregate <coughs> your output by using the split file command as I have shown you. Okay, now remember that at this point, every analysis that I will do will actually be disaggregated by the variable uh, country alpha as you can see here we have shown you so to turn it off you have just to go to the same procedure data and split file then as if you remember just go back to analyze all cases and do not create groups that's all it means now you have turned off the filter as you can see here it says split file off so that's it